Can I pick my field office when applying for an immigration benefit? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer, practicing law throughout the United States at our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. You know, there are severe processing delays at USCIS, and many of the service centers and field offices are way, way, way behind. And smart immigrants who are paying attention notice that when reports are issued regarding the actual processing times and the uh, anticipated processing times, at USCIS field offices and service centers. They want to know, Jim, can we go ahead and pick our service center? In other words, can I pick where my case is going to be processed? Can I pick where, if I'm going to have an interview, which field office I will have that interview at? And the answer to this question is no. This is something that is completely, utterly, 100% outside of your control. The way it works when you apply for an immigration benefit, whether it's an I-130 away for a spouse or a family member, or a adjustment of status case here in the United States, which is eventually going to be processed either at the service center or at a field office or resulting in an interview at the field office, you don't get to pick. What happens is you file your case at the USCIS lockbox, and every form comes with instructions, and in those instructions it tells you how much the filing fee is, and it tells you what address you are to send the application to. And once that happens, then some government workers or contractors open up the packet, they start the processing of the case, and they assign it to a service center. Later on, it might get switched from one service center to another based on workload. And then eventually, if it's going to be interviewed, or even if it's not going to be interviewed, the cases get sent to the field offices for additional processing. And a lot of immigrants get anxious about that. They spend, in my opinion, way too much time thinking about that and looking at the stated processing times and thinking about how long it's going to take and trying to micromanage and determine the outcome of when their case will be interviewed. Listen, I get it. I talk to immigrants every single day. I'm married to an immigrant. I know how stressful it is going through the immigration process for our clients. And I want you to know that I really think you just need to let it go because you can't ask them to send your case to another service center. You can't ask them to have your interview at another field office. It is all determined upon where you live, what the address is on the forms that you use, and what information you've included in the forms that determines where your interview will take place or where your case will be processed. So you really do need to just let go of the result. You don't get to pick. You don't get to choose. The case will be sent to where USCIS wants to send it. And the one thing I want you to understand is that there are service centers that are slow. There are service centers that are fast. Some field offices are faster or slower than others. But every case is different. Every case has its own life. And I've seen cases go very quickly at slow service centers. And I've seen cases go very slowly at fast service centers. Same thing at the field offices. So don't spend too much time thinking about this. Don't spend too much time worrying about this. Your job is to file the strongest case possible, to get yourself ready for the interview if there's going to be one, to keep gathering evidence in support of your application so that when the time comes, you're ready to roll. If you're getting ready to file an I-130 away for some kind of family member or if you want to sponsor your spouse or child or someone else for lawful permanent residence in the United States or if you're thinking about applying for citizenship or asylum, we'd love to represent you. Happy to have that opportunity. Feel free to give us a call if you're looking to hire an attorney at 314-961-8200 or email us info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. If you're just looking for free resources, feel free to join us in our Immigrant Home Facebook group. There's over 9,000 members in that group talking about the immigration process, talking about service centers, talking about field offices, talking about processing times. All those things are discussed in there on a regular basis. And then, of course, we have our YouTube channel. Hopefully you're watching this on the YouTube channel. You can check out whenever we unleash a new video just like this one. In addition, I go live three or four times a week where I just try to answer as many immigration law-related questions as I can in an hour. And we'll be doing that show again today. And we try to do it, like I said, three or four times a week. We'd love to have you there. And there I answer questions for free. Otherwise, if you're thinking about hiring us as your lawyer, give us a call. If you're not thinking about hiring us as a lawyer, please don't call because we have a lot of people that are in line ahead of you that are waiting to talk to us who are interested in hiring us as their lawyer. Thanks so much and have a great day.